Off we go. I don't know where my robot friend went, but I I wish he would stay with us. Ah, the open ocean. You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the duck back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the duck back, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omnitool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. It's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about 
and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Everything right? Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No. We haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh. I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Should I let him go? I'm still unclear on this whole idea. Should I let them? I have no idea what's going on. I, I'm. I got scanned. I feel so lost. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. I feel like there's so many different questions. There's so many things that I don't understand. Like, what is this? This is a person. Right? They say they're people, but... Is this what it's supposed to look like? He said he's a person, and he said he killed himself. He said he killed himself, and then he started saying something about it being on the Ark, so if you kill yourself, then yeah, whatever is on the Ark... I expected something Shut different. up! ...becomes you. And then... Uh, what does that have to do with you being a robot here, right? I don't... I, I just don't understand anything. It... Uh, I'm so lost with how many different things are just like I, I feel like there's some piece of information I'm just supposed to have grasped by now and I just don't I just don't have I haven't I've missed some something just wasn't paying attention missed something I have no fucking clue I remember hearing about the arc and uh, I guess I'm a, I'm a robot or something I'm, I guess. I don't know why I'm around or why I'm from the past in 2015 and I, there's no other ones of me. <sighs> but I suppose I'm taking all of this for granted at this point. I have no clue. Okay. No, maybe just focus on one thing at a time. Like, like what the hell's going on? We're in the apocalypse, but uh, we're 
robots, but we're not really robots. We're different from the other robots because we're actually clones of brains but that put in machines, but somehow we're not. It's not the same thing as being a robot. Um, and yet we are around, but we're not on the Ark for some reason. Or maybe we are on the Ark. <clears throat> like, I don't know. I guess maybe it's because... I have a very specific view of, like, what's a robot and what's a person. I think. And... Their idea of, like, artificial Hello? intelligence is cloning brains. And that's not an artificial intelligence okay, to me, that's... Just an intelligence. So I, I don't... I don't know. That's like a basic thing that it, it, it's sort of just losing me right there. And like, if you're just creating a brain, it's not really you. It's not really connected to you. I don't know. Hopefully at some point we'll get some sort of answer to something that makes sense to me. I don't what do I do? Oh, I probably have to like You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Okay, we'll do that. I don't know, I guess another thing Looks I don't like get. Your friends move downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Just 
deceased. Bass Robin, that's the one outside. Missing. Catherine Chun. Okay, deceased, deceased. Joaquin Dufresne. So is this everybody on the project? Or whatever this is. Okay, uh, whatever. So if we're already artificial, this is what... This is the critical thing. If we're already artificial intelligences, then... If the Ark exists, then we might... Already be uploaded to it. Right? We might already be on there, so we're just trying to help it... Move? Like, I guess, like, if you're uploading a, 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 a brain, I don't know, it's not the same thing, is it? It's not the same thing as actually being there. Kind of just kind of unsatisfying because there aren't really any any humans left if it's just why would they all leave this floor machines it's like they all just cleared out Oh god. Okay. That is actually scary if I turn the volume up. It does actually it's make it a lot scarier. Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. You have a bad feeling. You don't even have legs. Do that. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. be a bad idea. Uh, that might have been a port. Maybe not. There's nobody in here. Why was it locked?
That's my room. Are you buying something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Teddy Bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. Cool fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. I'm searching your room because I want to know more about you. I guess. Imogen Reed toasted the machine today. It was clearly corrupted by Wall, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for Wow to steal. When activated, the machine mimics the room and Reed along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear the wall copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point, where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerge. The read inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it works with the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW scanning techniques using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. So WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. <clears throat> With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Serang killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the ARC. Okay. So it's just a, a weird superstition that they had. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. I hope it will calm down. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. I unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Car Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Very confusing wording that you're using there. I don't understand exactly what you mean. So, as a scan... The fuck is that? Obviously, she's scanning to herself and all of the other people on Pathos 2, but I, myself, was not one of the people she scanned. Therefore, it doesn't make sense for me to be here unless I have something to do with WoW and what it's scanned and created. Because she copied her idea from WoW. You have a lot of toys. Huh. 
Alright, let's get out. So maybe I'm a some sort of evil thing. 